Welcome back, this is Baldur's Cooper with more Let's Play Chrono Cross. I'm joined, as always, by my soon-to-be hot squad of Serge, Lena, and Guile. When we last left off, I said I was going to do some work off-screen. I went ahead and did that. Everybody is now properly equipped, or at least equipped with, an iron weapon. So you can see that on Kid. I didn't bother upgrading everybody's armor. I didn't have enough iron to go around when it came to the armor, but everybody does have the weapon, which is probably more important. The armor can be transferred around. The weapon's not quite as easily. So I focused on weapons. Everybody is now up to iron. I went ahead and brought Lena and Guile back into the party because they are good characters. I underestimated Lena. Uh, she's actually better than I thought. And Guile, of course, uh, has not been in the party for a little bit, and he is exceptionally useful, especially when paired with that eagle eye. So, that is the party that we are going to use moving forward for the time being. We are actually going to head... Yeah, that's not even close to the boat. Uh, we are going to head to Mount Pyre, where we are told to go. I don't always go where I'm told, but today is going to be that case. We actually have access to it now. Uh, now I should mention that, huh. I should mention that uh, you can actually go to Mount Pyre before going to Water Dragon Isle. Uh, of course, by clearing the fog on the Invincible, we have, or around the Invincible, I should say, uh, we have cleared the way to the Pyre Shore. So you can come here, I would not recommend it. Not only is it very difficult without the water dragon's blessing, it can also screw up a few things in the game for you. Uh, particularly a growth level, you can miss one entirely. I'm not entirely sure how that happens, it's never happened to me. Uh, but I am told that if you go through Mount Pyre to a certain point, uh, and I'll explain when that point is, and then you try to go to Water Dragon Isle after that, uh, sometimes you will just never get that growth level. So I would recommend you do Water Dragon Isle first. It just seems like the better option. All right, let's head into Mount Pyre. This is going to be a little bit of a hassle because there is lava everywhere. And you might think, oh, we'll just go ahead and, and freeze it. Well, I could, but as you can see, there's a treasure chest on the left, so I want to get it. And we got a magma burst, and I'm going to run over here before anything else happens. Uh, because we're not doing so great right now. As you can see, we have gotten hurt quite a bit due to the lava. It didn't really show it, but uh, we were definitely getting hit. So we're going to use some tablets. Uh, three apiece? Yeah, it looks like 150 across the board. I have been uh, saving all my tablets, so things have been going okay for me. Let's get a little bit closer here, bring up the key item menu, and use the iceberg. Did we take a look at that in our menu? I don't think we did. But we can freeze the lava, turn it into ice. Let's take a look at the ice breath. I don't remember looking at it. There it is. The cold breath of the water dragon has the power to fe freeze, even piping hot magma, which is what we are up against here. So good thing it does. And we can encounter a new enemy. I remember this guy can be a little difficult. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but we are up against Lava Boys! So we are gonna start with Lena. Lena, as you might expect, still has my eagle eye because she is the, well, I don't wanna say least useful, but she has the lowest attack of the party right now. I do have Frog Prince equipped on her just in case I happen to have a chance to use it. We'll see if I can't get it working. Uh, but for the time being, Eagle Eye is what I want to use, and we're going to use it on Guile, as you might expect. There are two of them. Go, Guile. Lava Breath incoming. This is the reason that uh, I didn't summon this here. It didn't do anything to her. I buffed her magic defense as much as I could, to be honest. All right, let's go ahead and hit the Lava Boy. 97. Doesn't matter, it hit both people anyway. All right, one guy is down. Let's see if we can't uh, try to finish off this guy, actually. Not bad. All right, Guile, you are up. Ooh, uh, Surge, can you go ahead and poke somebody? Thank you. Oh, and an incoming Lava Breath. 
Hit Lena with it. Hit Guile. Oh, it still does nothing. These guys have, like, no magic stat. Oh, you got afflicted. What do you got on you? You got burns. That's probably not going to be good for me, but uh, we'll see what we can do to try to finish you guys off anyway. All right, we got one. We got one. That should be enough to finish you off, too. There we go. And we did it. And we get 1,500 gold and small increments of HP as well. Two magma bursts, and we're ready to move on. Nobody even got hit for damage. All right, hold on. Let me heal that. I've not been talking about status ailments enough. Uh, burns, they lower your defense, uh, both inside the battle and out in the field. You get twice as much damage from, let's say, lava. So you do want to cure that. Uh, only an ointment will do that because it's the same color pretty much how it goes uh we can go over here but unfortunately there's not really a point to it so instead we are going to head up this way oh i didn't talk about curse uh curse when you get hit uh your stamina lowers that's not the worst curse that i've ever seen in video games and we have a couple new enemies here so we are going to start with lena as you might expect we have a hot doggity and two cat burglars i guess i guess i'll start with one of the cat burglars in case i click quickly Really? Oh, here comes the hot doggity. Oh, they are all in a color of red. She is blue, so it makes sense that uh, they do quite a bit of damage to her. Not quite making sense? How often you miss, Lena? Seriously. Why are you missing so damn much? All right, go ahead and put that on dial, please. I even gave you a nice little ladle and everything. It's an iron one. That's what the F-E stands for. It's iron. So, like, Iron Man would be a P now. Uh, all right, let's kill these guys, or at least do a good amount of damage to them. Oh, he hit me with a jab. All right, Surge, get in there and kill something. I don't know, we'll focus on this guy. He'll probably be the easiest to kill. Oh, I had it. I had it, but no. Oh, I don't, I don't know exactly what he did. Maybe that was a right cross instead of just a jab. All right, down he goes. I do need to do one more stamina here in order to get Gal back up. But he's good to go. Hit both of them, please. And one more. Down they both go. That's why Gal is so damn good. There are other characters that do that, but Guile is the one that you can get the earliest. Alright, more HP. I will definitely take it. And to recover all, everybody's back up. Ooh, thank you. And an ointment. I do need that. After all, that's the only way to cure the burns. And we can head in here where we can find a tablet. Very nice. I will take it. Uh, for the record, I don't think I mentioned this before. Lava cannot kill you. It can only reduce your HP to one. Which pretty much kills you as soon as you get into a battle, but uh, it cannot technically kill your party. It's like a uh, poison in a lot of games. And we have found Salt and Pepper. Now this is the point at which if you come here first, uh, you can screw your game up. Uh, you can lose a growth level permanently by taking on these guys before uh, heading to Water Dragon Isle. Ah, they're really here. This time, let's shake it to him for sure. Y yes, I'll do my best, Peppa. Let's shake it. Get ready to to shake it, as Peppa would say. Yeah, you guys are salt and pepper, and you keep on saying shake it. Shouldn't you be saying push it? That's yeah, just me. Like, ah, shake it. So we're up against salt and Peppa again. This time we shall not be beaten. I shall blow them to pieces with one of those powerfully powerful elements you bought me, Pepper. You mean one of those summoning elements? Now we're shaking. They're going to teach me how to use summoning element, which is something that the game does need to teach me, to be honest with you. Uh, but as you might expect, it's not easy. How tragically tragic. I hate to tell you this, Pepper, but I just remembered that I lost the summoning element I had with me. What do you mean you lost it? Don't tell me you dropped it or your dog ate it or some other stupid excuse like that. You're asking for a darn good shaking if you do. 
No, I'm not that stupidly stupid, you know, Pepor. Actually, if you must know, that centipede monster in the Hydra Marshes stole it from me. And I was enjoying that excitingly exciting expedition in the marshes up till then, too. What do you mean a centipede monster stole your element? The wing appeared. What, he snuck up behind you and picked all your pockets with his hundred of legs or something? No, Pepor. When I say stole, I don't mean he picked my pockets or anything like that. I mean he took it from me by laying a trap element in which my element got caught. What in Spice's name are you talking about? Yeah, this actually does require an explanation. I don't think we've gotten a trap element yet. No, we did. I did explain it a little bit. Would you kindly explain to me what a shaking trap element is? Well, uh... It's difficultly difficult to explain in words, Pepor, so I will give you a demonstration. I will lay a trap in front of you, Pepor, and then get you to use one of your special elements. All right, let's give it a go. 10-4, Pepor. And he's using a trap element, and it is a black hole. So now he uses black hole. And black hole gets trapped. Now, you see how I took your element there, Pepor? I used a trap element designed exclusively to capture black hole elements. You see, each trap element only works on one kind of element. They can't capture any elements other than the ones they were designed to capture. Shaking. I see what you mean about having your summoning element stolen there. All right, now I understand. So you can give me back my black hole element now. Oops, I should have told you, I can't give it back to you. You can't get that element back again unless another monster is silly enough to have its element captured. Oh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter seeing as you've got your hands on it now. So, why don't you hurry on up and use that element you just trapped on the enemy? Yeah, the black hole one? That'd do quite a number on Surge. Come on. What are you waiting for? Huh? You know you can't use an element until you have equipped it properly, so we'll have to wait until after this battle is over before we can re-equip it and use it. What did you just say? Why the hell do you always have to be so damn stupid? That does it. You're in for a real shaking now. Ah, uh, I'm sorrily sorry, Pepor. Please don't hit me too hard. Thank you for doing some of my work. 